welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be mixing all of my drugstore foundations well these are three of the top drugstore foundations so I decided hey why not mix them since everyone loves them anyway let's see how they work together the number one is the infallible pro matte foundation from L'Oreal this one has been raved about for years now ever since it came out a lot of people love this this has very good ratings and people just really love this foundation now this foundation has a very very matte finish and this it does run a little bit orange so that's that foundation then the next foundation is the Maybelline matte and poreless foundation Again, everyone raves about this foundation. This foundation has a really great shade range and I would recommend. I also love it. That's why I have it in my collection. This one also claims to be a matte finish, but it's not really matte. It's more of a, like a semi-matte. Then I have the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect Foundation. This is favorited by many people, including Tati, and I love Tati, and I trust Tati's reviews, and I myself love this foundation. This is actually my foundation out of all of them. I have dry skin, so yeah, just giving you a background on the foundation so you kind of get a feel of what's being put into this concoction. Now I have this, which is like a candle holder. I decided I'm just going to put the foundations in here. Um, and I'm gonna put like equal parts of each foundation. I'm gonna just use a little tweezer to mix all this up. So this is the shade of the mixture. Not too bad, it's a little orange, which is regular for me in drugstore foundations. <laughs> Missing an earring. When when did that happen? Hmm, that looks really pretty. I think this looks really nice and flawless on the skin. It's just obviously not really my undertone. <laughs> it's really, really red, but for the skin, the smoothing effect, how my pores look and everything, it looks really, really nice. It's matte, but it's not too matte. You can still see a nice sheen to my face. The L'Oreal Pro Matte makes your skin look really blurred and takes away your pores also the matte and poreless so right now it is 2 30 p.m i'll do a close-up so you guys can see like everything yeah i'm gonna go finish up the rest of my makeup and go about my day i'll come back and show you guys what's going on and how it wore hey guys so i am back it is 11 o'clock at night and this is how my face looks now i would say that this looks good for me for like what 10 hours of wear i think this looks good i've worn foundations like pretty much all day for 12 hours and by like hour three the foundation would be breaking up and spreading apart and i would look way more oily than this at 11 o'clock so for that i really appreciate this foundation now let me just do a close-up a little bit so as you can see my nose is really really oily that is really the first place to get oily like the sides of my nose and one thing i want to point out with this foundation is that my these laugh lines that you see i purposely didn't like do anything to them or blend them out all day just because i wanted to show you guys um this doesn't happen to me like this ever and that's the only thing and i think that might be um 
mixing the foundations together usually i get like laugh lines but it's never this bad and it's never this long like it'll just be like right here and it'll just it's never this bad so that's my only thing that's the only problem that i saw with this foundation was that it just creased really bad in my laugh lines but other than that i got plenty of compliments throughout the day also um the maybelline one does oxidize on me it gets red and it's not coming off on camera so much but um compared to my chest my face is very very red well that's the only thing but when you're a brown skin girl this is what happens literally all the time you even you either look orange or you look casket ready that is one thing that i wish drugstores would improve on is the shade range would i wear this again i think so this was a cool experience because i got a compliment someone told me my skin looked really good i think my skin looked really good the foundation really smoothed out my skin and it and it blurred my um texture in my skin so i really appreciate that um it wore well throughout the day to fix this problem all you really need is like a primer that'll keep things from like um that'll keep things from like settling in the creases but other than that i really think this combination worked it makes me curious to mix my other products but yeah thank you guys so much for sticking through to the end of this video i hope you guys like this little experiment if you like this video subscribe down below so you can see more of my content i am uploading more frequently now it's getting lit here also check the description box for my other social media accounts my instagram my snapchat and everything else will be linked below once again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time